Welcome to The Road to America's Past, your key to the secrets of the past's everyday life. Today, we will embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore how Americans lived and what life was like in the 19th and 20th centuries. Join us to discover incredible stories and customs that bring the history of America and the rest of the world to life. Once heralded as a leap in car safety, automatic seat belts marked an era of innovation. Emerging in the 1980s, they promised enhanced protection with minimal effort, automatically wrapping around passengers upon closing the car door. Their initial popularity was driven by ease of use, seeming to offer a foolproof way to ensure safety. However, over time, the novelty waned. Users found them inconvenient, often uncomfortable, and sometimes unreliable. The real turning point came with the rise of airbags. Offering superior protection, airbags soon became the preferred safety standard, leading to the gradual decline of automatic seatbelts. This shift underscored the evolving nature of automotive safety and consumer preferences. Dashboard ashtrays and lighters, once ubiquitous features in cars, are a tale of changing times. In the mid-20th century, they were standard in almost every vehicle, symbolizing the era's social norms around smoking. These features not only provided convenience for smokers, but were also seen as a mark of sophistication and luxury in automotive design. However, as health awareness about the dangers of smoking grew, social attitudes shifted. The automotive industry responded to these changing tides by gradually phasing out ashtrays and lighters. This change was also spurred by advancements in car design, focusing more on safety and utility. Today, these once standard features have become a rarity, reflecting a broader societal shift towards health consciousness and a smoke-free environment. Factory-installed car phones, once a symbol of luxury and high status, represent a fascinating chapter in the evolution of communication technology. In the 1980s and early 1990s, having a phone in your car was a sign of prestige and cutting-edge technology. These devices were not only for convenience, but also a statement of wealth and advancement. However, with the advent of the mobile phone era, car phones began their descent into obsolescence. The rise of portable, affordable, and technologically superior mobile phones quickly made in-car phones redundant. The transformation was swift and decisive, reflecting the rapid pace of technological change and shifting consumer preferences. Today, factory-installed car phones are a relic of a bygone era, a reminder of the dynamic nature of technological progress and societal trends. Four-wheel steering systems, a technological marvel, once promised a revolution in automotive handling and maneuverability. Emerging in the 1980s, these systems allowed both the front and rear wheels to turn, offering unprecedented agility, especially in tight spaces and during high-speed maneuvers. Initially, they were a sensation, promising a new era of driving dynamics. However, as time passed, the complexities and costs associated with these systems became apparent. Maintenance proved challenging, and the high costs of implementation were significant hurdles. Gradually, the automotive industry shifted its focus towards more cost-effective and less complex technologies, leading to the decline of four-wheel steering systems. This evolution reflects the delicate balance between innovation and practicality in automotive engineering. Hardtop convertibles, blending the elegance of a coupe with the freedom of a convertible, captivated the auto world in the mid-20th century. Their unique design allowed drivers to enjoy an open-top experience without sacrificing the comfort and security of a hardtop. These cars were the epitome of luxury and innovation, turning heads wherever they went. However, the golden era of hardtop convertibles faced challenges. The weight and complexity of the mechanism increased costs, making them less accessible. Additionally, the need for space to store the retractable roof compromised practicality. Over time, these factors, along with advancements in soft-top technology, led to their decline. Yet, the charm and nostalgia of hardtop convertibles remain, a symbol of automotive elegance from a bygone era. Photochromic windshields, a concept ahead of its time, promised a revolution in automotive vision. These innovative windshields, designed to change tint with varying light exposure, 
aimed to enhance driving comfort and safety. The idea was groundbreaking. In bright sunlight, the windshield would darken to reduce glare, and in lower light, it would clear up for better visibility. However, despite its potential, the technology didn't gain widespread adoption. Challenges such as slow response to light changes, inconsistency in tinting, and high production costs hindered its practicality. Additionally, varying legal standards on tinted windshields across regions posed another obstacle. This ambitious idea, while not mainstream, remains a remarkable example of how automotive technology strives to merge innovation with practicality. Pop-up headlights, an emblem of automotive style and innovation, had their moment in the spotlight from the 1960s to the 1990s. These eye-catching features gave cars a sleek, futuristic look when not in use, magically appearing only when needed. Enthusiasts adored them for their aesthetic appeal, adding a touch of mystery and elegance to car design. However, the allure of pop-up headlights was not to last. The very factors that made them captivating, their mechanical complexity and distinctive design, became their downfall. Rising costs of production, maintenance challenges, and growing concerns about pedestrian safety and accidents led to their gradual disappearance. Today, pop-up headlights are a fond memory, a nostalgic nod to a bygone era of automotive design. Steam-powered cars, the pioneers of the automotive world, once roamed the streets with their unique charm. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, they symbolized innovation, offering a glimpse into a future of personal transportation. These vehicles, powered by steam engines, were marvels of their time, known for their smooth ride and strong torque. However, their reign was short-lived. The rise of internal combustion engines, led by their convenience, efficiency, and rapidly advancing technology, soon overshadowed steam cars. The need for quick refueling and longer ranges made gasoline engines more practical, leading to the decline of steam-powered automobiles. Their story is a fascinating chapter in automotive history, showcasing an era of exploration and invention. In the evolving tale of automotive audio, the 8-track tape player marks a distinctive era. Emerging in the late 1960s, it revolutionized in-car entertainment, allowing drivers and passengers to enjoy full albums on the road. This innovation brought a new level of enjoyment to car journeys. However, the 8-track's reign was short-lived. By the late 1970s, its bulky size and limited sound quality were overshadowed by the more compact and versatile cassette tapes. The rapid transition to cassettes, and later to CDs and digital media, reflected the relentless pace of technological advancement. The 8-track tape player, while now a relic of the past, remains a nostalgic symbol of a time when it redefined the automotive sound experience. The rotary engine, a marvel of engineering, soared in popularity due to its compact design and high power output. Invented by Felix Wankel, this engine was unlike anything else, with a rotating triangular rotor instead of pistons. Its rise was marked by its use in iconic cars like the Mazda RX-7, celebrated for their performance. However, challenges loomed. The Wankel engine struggled with fuel efficiency and high emissions, issues increasingly critical in a world shifting towards sustainability. Eventually, these drawbacks led to its decline, overshadowing its innovative design. Yet, its legacy in automotive history remains undeniable. 